parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. wait for the perfect time to It is the Raw Wrap of Raw 25 is in the can. All uh, three and a half hours of it, I think it is. Uh, we had a lot of fun. It is Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. Chatted Monday Night Raw with you guys tonight. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Facebook Live feed or on the internets, on the podcast, on our YouTube channel for Wrestling Mayhem Show or looking up the Raw Wrap-Up or the WMS uh, Master or Super Feed over on, on your favorite podcast catcher. With me, as typical, is our man up in Poo, Kipsy, New York. He's the only one of the Mayhem crew who has a future endeavored letter from the WWE, and he is mad. Mike? Sorg, you forgot to mention that Poughkeepsie, New York, is the third, third highest city that has held the most draws. <laughs> third highest? Third highest. It's, yeah. Huh. Third highest city. That makes sense. Third highest that's, okay, okay. That's interesting. That is a fact I never would have thought to ask about. Well, I, I saw, uh, hold on. It's New York, Chicago, Poughkeepsie. That's the top three. Huh. Interesting. And, and New York is in the lead because they count all, like, the Brooklyn ones and the Manhattan ones and the Garden ones all, the, all at, the sa- at the same time. Hmm. All right. And we also, we uh, Mike, we have a special guest with us. Yes, we do. He made an appearance. An auspicious uh, appearance with us on the uh, Indie Mayhem Show on the SCD Christmas Special. He is with us tonight. He watched Raw 25 with us, and we had a groom of people here in the studio that watched us, watched it with us. So we really appreciate everybody for coming out to our uh, Raw w- watch party, and we're looking to do it again, of course, this weekend for the Royal Rumble. But Bradley is with us. Heel Bradley, some may call him on the internets. I thought we were going to watch Chris Lee Knows Best. No, no, we're not going to watch Chris Lee Knows Best. That's a different watch party. That's All right, all right. All right. That's somewhere else. That's somewhere else. Hello, Brad. But, Hello, how are you doing? Oh, man. Sorg, Sorg, this was a show. This was a show. Dude, this was a show of all shows. Wasn't I, it? Mm. It was, uh, it was a nostalgia show. It was absolutely it a was, nostalgia show. This was show. not supposed to be a pay-per-view of any sort. It was it was a member berries. It was a bunch of <laughs> member berries. Well, it was a whole lot of member berries. Um, it was it was a fun show. It was yes. a we're gonna do just a, a, a little bit to remind you that Royal Rumble's coming up this weekend. Mm-hmm. But here's all the, the stuff they, you remember. That's right. They should have done this last week. Wait, 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 wait. When is the anniversary of, of it? Is it like you can't move the anniversary, Mike? You we can't move just... anniversaries all the time. Yeah, I guess we do, don't we? They say they said 25th anniversary of WrestleMania. WrestleMania has never been on the same date before. <laughs> right. Yeah, hey, okay, that's true. That's true. But because uh, I mean, this was not a go home show for the Rumble. No, but. It was a. It was. It, it got everybody together to say, "All right, you know, here's the anniversary show. What, let's all watch the anniversary show, and then a little bits during the anniversary show. Hey, by the way, there's a Royal Rumble this weekend. You got to say, you know, for for the outreach they did with this with Fallon and everything like that. This was a show that they got a ton of people. Yeah, they got a ton of people to watch the show. Yeah. Right, I, mm-hmm. I I think it would have worked better if they did an hour special at the Manhattan, just straight up at the Manhattan Center, and then did a two hour raw. I think it was a nice mix, uh, but you know what I think was missing? Like, uh, of course they were pushing the Royal Rumble in general, but I and and really I don't even remember this with the DX segment. They never said, "Hey, and all the stuff you remember, and all these guys, and if you don't know who this is because you're too young because you're under twenty five. Um, oh, that makes <laughs> me feel sad. Uh, but it, it, at one point, our, our friend Doug from Should I Drink That was in here, and he says, uh, I, "I think it was, I think it was him that said, uh, like remembering, like having trouble with the fact that 25 years ago was 1993, 
for some of us. <laughs> and if you're of a certain age, and of a certain, if you're of a certain age, you're also cringing at this, uh, like us, um, us, us mid to post. Yes, Lita is still alive. She's doing a lot of things with WWE mm-hmm. <laughs> from the chat. Um, so, but I'm surprised they didn't plug Lee. Hey, you can see a lot of this on the network. You know that we've been talking about. They like, plugged it, it, the network. Well, Sean did. Sean, Sean did. did. Yeah, Sean did. But like it, it they, they said. I, I'm very sorry. They said at least once they said the Royal Rumble. You can watch it. You can watch it for free. Yeah, your yeah. first month is free, and that's how they they push all their pay per views. Also, a reminder, guys: Raw is pretty much an advertisement for WWE Network these days. Pretty much. Pretty much, right? Then it, it does. It doesn't do that job well. Okay, but it still has to be at least somewhat re- uh, entertaining tonight. All right, let's separate things, Mike. Let's separate this as a go-home yeah. show. Let's separate <clears throat> this out. Um, this was okay. a nostalgia I, show. I, I, will, I will say, I am so, so glad I didn't spend the money to go to the Manhattan Center. That you didn't spend the $800 to go to the Manhattan Center? Yeah, I think the Manhattan Center got gypped. <laughs> Got absolutely really gypped. because they only got absolutely Undertaker, gypped. they only got Triple H and Shawn Michaels and Scott uh, Hall. They got, the, they got the Undertaker talking for ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Back. Oh, a little bit of feed problems Nothing. here. There Wearing go. hair extensions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I, w- I was he trying to do the math of. Hair I'm doing the math of. Can he He's grow the other weaver. He's the other weaver. He's the under weaver. <laughs> borrowing, that, borrowing that trick from the divas and his wife, who was there across town, by the way. That's true. Um, uh, other, other thing that I've. Uh, if we can do just a short. Uh, what I learned from Raw 25 that you can't say that wrestling is bad for the reproductive system, uh, considering how many were pregnant out there uh, mm-hmm. for the uh, kind of divas roll call. Roll call. Um, it was a little weird that, like... Wait, how many of them were pregnant besides Mar- oh, Maria and Maurice? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maria and Maurice. And, and, and uh, I can count probably half of them that have multiple kids. So... That's, that's fair. You know. Um, another reason why maybe the women's um, um, careers are a tiny bit shorter. So... But uh, but anyways, no. But it was it was really cool to see that. It was weird that it was like, hey, everybody's here, but we're just gonna bring them out. Um, you know, anything we couldn't it, figure out something creative for, we just like paraded out Hall of Fame style. A little bit of that, and and that was good to see. You know, just a little bit of memory berries, but you got to see Jacqueline, Terry Runnels, uh, Terry you know, was, a lot Terry of people that we surprise. haven't seen for mm-hmm. a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> this is a good point from Dave in the chat room. Um, and Mad Mike sounded more coherent uh, than The Undertaker while the stream was choppy for him a yep. moment ago. Mm-hmm. So, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because honestly, I don't know why The Undertaker was there. Mm-hmm. Like, the, other than the fact that he was in the first row. Can we turn like, out the like lights he, for The Undertaker? We can do it for Bray in the Manhattan Center. Yeah, like, he was. No, no. I'll, I'll at least give you that. That was, that was, a, style, that was a stylistic choice, Sorg. Okay. Because The Undertaker. But the lights didn't turn down when he entered the Manhattan for the first Raw. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Mike's been uh, watching that, Raw that, that longer a, than I have. Right. Yeah, that was a stylistic choice. I, I was I was fine with that. Yeah, Elias got a huge rub tonight. Oh, man. Uh, D- Dave in the chat room saying Elias got a huge rub. Yes. Um, I, I want to address this because uh, some people were saying how some people were missing. Um, Beth Phoenix is missing. Well, Beth Phoenix is doing stuff with... with um, well, Beth Phoenix is probably going to show up some other time this week yeah yeah exactly she's involved tomorrow night on smackdown and she had a really bad travel week last week from what i understand um somebody's bringing up uh, king kong bunny and honky talk man i i also remember this is 25 years of monday night raw honky talk was honky talk ever on raw was honky talk ever on raw I, I, not that no. I can think yeah. of. It. I mean, yes, Honky Tonk was on Raw. He was the one who brought in managing Rockabilly, Rockabilly, Rockabilly that's, Billy Gunn. That's about it. But yeah, not a but huge part of it, you no. know. And, and 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 also like kind of calling out about how Hogan. I think the comment was effed out of this. Hulk Hogan also not a huge part of Monday Night Raw. He was the opposition not, not for until, most of it. Um, mm, a little. Uh, he was he was the champion at one point. Not like Undertaker. Uh, not like any of the other not ones. Not like but... Undertaker. Not like the other guys. He wasn't a foundation mm-hmm. of Monday Night Raw no, for that's true. an extended amount of time. Came back well, with Hogan the NWO. Was, well, Hogan was there initially for uh, the build-up to WrestleMania 9. Right, which right. Did, which mm-hmm. did have some on Raw, but that was like Raw when it first started and Hulk Hogan didn't wrestle a match on raw until he came back with the NWO. Exactly. 
Um, there, there's one. Where and you guys might know better than me. Where was the Rock? Filming uh, a movie, he, probably. Filming we, a movie. Yeah. Okay. Thousand movies or ballers or both at the same time. He's a busy, busy man. Busy, busy man. Okay. And and I mean, the Rock. Rock doesn't show up for Ross. He shows up for. He shows up for WrestleMania. Exactly. Um, in, in conjunction with that WrestleMania, with said WrestleMania. Yeah, unless right? he's okay. filming something for the Page documentary in Los Angeles, Rock ain't gonna show. No, 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 no. Goldberg? Uh, not a big... I mean, he had a, a thing, but he had his thing last year. True. And I don't think and Goldberg okay. really wants to pop up if he doesn't have to. Plus, and we're, he, not, we're not going to see him Mantar? until the whole Mantar, thing. Mantar, Mantar. Mantar. Uh, Mantar has actually been reincarnated by Braun Strowman. Uh, Eaton. It's kind of like a Highlander thing. I think. Yeah. Is that sort of like a cell in Dragon Ball Z that he's uh, like absorbed him and Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh my god, Braun Strowman is perfect Mantar. <laughs> Apparently there are pictures says uh, uh Alex um uh in the chat says did you see the pics of JR and King sleeping? I was like, well, you know, it was a long time to just watch a TV. Um, that but surprise yeah. me. I, I, I can't get sad about how many people weren't there. I know uh Kevin Ash saying he couldn't make it because of uh planes are too small. Um, and he had, I think, hip surgery or knee surgery. And, and uh, at six foot four, planes are a mm -hmm. shit ride for me. I can't Did imagine him. Did What's that? Is that the reason Sid couldn't make it? Uh, well, well, Sid's apparently involved in that travel ban <laughs> because I, I, didn't, I didn't know super tall uh, white blonde men were on the travel ban. But OK. Um, anyways. Well, no, just, just masters and rulers of the world. I, and I will I will outright refute that boogeyman showing up was lame. No, um, no, like, no, no. He just they, it they had also, just enough boogeyman. I think. Oh yeah, I think I, he said I think boogeyman was, was going to show up. <clears throat> I always they a said, nice surprise, but he's not one you exactly announce, right? <laughs> no, but no, but he he was announced. Oh, he was okay. He wasn't like honestly the people that weren't announced, Terry Runnels, that that surprised and thrilled me. Mm -hmm. Harvey Whippleman. Also a good surprise. Yeah. I love to see yes. Harvey Wilson in there. Yes. Like the people who I didn't know were going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, and even so, this was surprising. Fully not there, even though he lives. Or maybe he's involved with something else right now. But uh, yeah, he's right across the a bridge, probably in Long Island. So uh, interesting. I'm kind of surprised there was Foley. Yeah. No Foley. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no bit of some mania. Well, they're, they're mania. Well, Sorg, Sorg, was it you that said Ted DiBiase is there? Where's Virgil? No, no, he's what outside. He's outside. There's a real reason they couldn't do the wide pans of the Manhattan Center because Virgil's out there with a table. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else other than Virgil at the table? Um, no, 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 because no, no. he's lonely. I don't know. Maybe the Iron Sheik these days. Okay. I liked it. I liked that we got to see the Peep Show. I thought that was a cool. That yeah. was a nice surprise because I I thought they were saying on the podcast he was not going to be there. So I, I bet I bet there was supposed to be the Cutting Edge though. Yeah. Well, Edge. I bet it was uh, supposed to, or or the Cutting Edge Peep Show. We'll like, we'll find know, out. We'll find out because they'll certainly talk about it on the podcast this week for Edge and Christian. I know uh, they did talk. Edge was talking about how um, he literally had to work in Dublin and that wasn't going to work. Mm. So yeah. for him to get out there and be back in Dublin in time for his shoot call time in the morning. So, I mean, Edge is a working post, you know, retired wrestler at this point, you know, like Batista. Even Christian is still doing a lot of stuff out there, getting to acting himself. Yeah, Virgil selling shirts. Virgil never has shirts. Oh, you mean WWE shirts. Um, yeah. I, I, I was, uh, you know. Well, so, Sorg, you made the comment about uh Chris Jericho was actually there. And Chris Jericho, you said he can go wherever he wants. Yes. He can do whatever the, well, you said whatever, whatever the hell he wants. And I, yes. that's when I said, Gory is the Chris Jericho <laughs> of Western PA. Yes. A little insight for you guys on the local scene here. But, uh, but no, absolutely. And, and, and I want to note, if you guys didn't notice, Chris Jericho shows up with his New Japan yeah, he was wearing Al New Japan. Alpha <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Um, pretty, pretty amazing. Again, Chris Jericho can do whatever the F he wants. Chris so. Jericho showed up, but Randy Orton didn't. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. Randy, Randy Orton not there. Mm -hmm. The Kevin Owens show not present. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe some um, of the, the biggest SmackDown stars, some of them, they didn't have on that show. They had them on the... They'll, we'll see them tomorrow night. But you don't want to make it, a, you know, to have them on the big Monday show and then Tuesday. Oh, and they're here too, by the way. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're It'll here. be interesting to see how that looks as uh, <clears throat> as the, you know, quote, go-home show for, for Royal Rumble as well uh, to see what happens there. Because it's just... It, it's, it, it gives Kevin Owens something to complain about. Exactly. Kevin, I'll bet you Kevin will that, complain that's about a, that that's tomorrow. That's a fair point. It works. That's it works. A fair point. Everything's done. And again, a night where everything seemed to be done for a reason. I love the APA thing just growing. Mm-hmm. And, and like I always stopped just so I could see who knew was added to I, the mix. I like that it was growing, but it was growing too much with current guys. Yeah, but it was it was still it was still fun. I mean, we got, you got to think. You, so you, got, you got some new day in this there. This wasn't a raw old school. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, this, that would have been better. But, but we've done that. We've done that. Yeah, I know. This is was an great. homage. This again. is an homage to the entire twenty-five years. One of the top. One of the top moments was CM Punk doing his thing. One of the mm-hmm. top moments was Festival of Friendship with Chris Joko and Kevin Owens. Right. Uh, in this way, obviously, we, we talked about the absence of Owens, but you know, and and you know, not everybody's going to be able to make it, but you know. You hit all the right points. You know, you hit things like APA. You threw to, to memories uh, in pictures and clips to a lot of other things. Again, it was a nice retrospective of and and look at accomplishment and and throw back to, hey, remember that thing we used to do back in the day? You know, <laughs> I, I think it would have been better if they didn't tell us how many people were going to be there beforehand. It, you wanted everybody to be surprises. I, I feel like. Yeah. I, I feel Why like, not? I feel like it's a little bit. Well, these are WWE was announcing this as well, right? WWE has been announcing it for a month, right? Um, and I think I think that's them getting like trying to control the story instead of letting the sheets do it at this point. Yeah, but too. But yeah. the sheets doing rumors is better mm-hmm. because like. I understand you need to promote a show. I get that. Well, yeah, even you say, well, Manhattan you say, Center you say was Austin. You say Austin, Sean Taker. Yeah, that's all you need to say to sell. Well, uh, they had very specifically. I don't think they had even Take. said Stone Cold for a longest time. Let everyone they, else be a surprise. They they said they were selling the Manhattan Center appearance on Taker and Shawn Michaels will be there, right? Yeah. Um. So th- so there's that. So I don't know. It's it's. Aside just sitting down and watching it, I thought it was a lot of fun. I had, you know, not a lot of expectations other than what was more broadly announced a little bit. I'd see tweets here and there about it. Uh, again, from, quote, news sources, because let's be honest with these wrestling yeah. news sites. But uh, but no, we had Stone Cold. We had the Stunner. We had a great build up. We had fun with the with the McMahon family, right? Mm-hmm. We had... now, now, I have a question. It's it's a logistical question, Sork. Um, does Shane McMahon inherently try to ruin Stone Cold's life now because he attacked his father? No, 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 no. Because he's... Are you sure? Because that seems to be Shane's MO. Yeah, it is true. That is true. But he's more concerned with ruining ca- uh, Canadians' lives on SmackDown <laughs> right now. Because it, it's, it's, it's Shane versus America's hat at this point. Um, he, he has Canuck hate. He hates the French. He hates, hates French Canadians. He hates mm-hmm. he, French he's fries. He's drinking that. Um, what would what would be the Canadian version of Haterade? Um, what, would would it hey, be Hateen? Hateen, yeah, I think Hateen would be appropriate for <laughs> yeah. that. A yeah, yeah, like um, put like poutine with hatred. Yeah, yeah, it's just like 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 mad poutine. Well, I, I think mm. Sorg is right in that. Oh no, that sounds like uh, something The Rock well, would say. I don't think he would go. <laughs> Good, Bradley. I, I think Sorg is right that you know you could put any com- combination of people in three hours and 20 minutes and you're not going to be able to get everybody on Mm -mm. and you're going to get everybody there. So no matter what show they put together, there's going to be three guys like us that are going to say, Oh, where was this guy? Where was that guy? You're always going to have that. I think they did very well with what they had. Right. Exactly. Um, And, 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 And we got to see, at least one really good match. That Miz versus Roman Reigns was <laughs> mm-hmm. a very, very mm-hmm. good match. Mm-hmm. If you came into the tonight expecting a lot of top-notch wrestling, man, you really need to work on your expectations. Uh, and, uh, and if so. you came in expecting a lot of top-notch wrestling, watch some Attitude Era Raw again. There was <laughs> well, not a lot of that yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were, I think we counted four matches tonight officially. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, I'll, maybe a fifth. I'll tell maybe you what I really like. I'll tell you what I really like. Asuka beating up all of her partners. Yes. 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 I Asuka love that. Asuka just in general. But he also told me, oh, Asuka's not winning the Royal Rumble. Mm. Asuka's not winning that role. That, that that doesn't that does not uh, translate for me, but but still, he was in a good spot there, and that was pretty cool. Um, I could see it. I could see it. I mean, they got to build her up more and more. Um, her as a face, and, or or our tweener or whatever, and building her as can anybody beat this woman? Mm. And they can go at least another year with that, and then have this amazing. Wonderful moment that Dana Brooke beats her. <laughs> Dana you, Brooke, why are you laughing? As we've, as we've said, the Santino Morella. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, anyways, but no, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was interesting to watch uh, the, the throwbacks. I love the Bullet Club and DX click mm-hmm. kind of coming out together. Um and and just a little bit prospectively, sort of would like to see um Arn Anderson come out. I know Arn Anderson was never really part of Raw, but uh just yeah. just the revival needed some old school backup. Uh, I was saying that I, I wished he, Jim Cornette would have led the revival. Around. That makes sense, but uh, but right. yeah, you can't get everybody, and Jim isn't in that great. You uh, know, they could have had Harvey Whippleman do it. Yeah. yeah. Harvey was, was in there. The, Harvey was in the he other was. building. That would have been a good one too. Yeah. It's yeah. a short train ride. It's a yeah, short but, train. But ride. like like we said, there we can sit there and we can say, oh, they could have done this. They could have done. It. They did very well. Yeah. There's there's a lot of moving had. parts and a lot of people that aren't usually there every 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 week for them to kind of pull together. So um, a really really fun show. Um, and I have I have a logistical question. Okay. The women that they showed. How many of them do you think will be in the Royal Rumble on Sunday? I mean, definitely not Maurice and Maria. Obviously. Oh, from that? Yeah. Um, do you think any of them? I don't think th- I don't think you'll have both of them, but I think Maurice will spit out one of the babies and it'll go in into <laughs> the Rumble. Uh, I'm, I'm going to... He'll just come out and just bite the umbilical cord and just run in there. I throw not, out Bailey and then uh, she's giving Asuka birth to Hornswoggle. It no, it's a it's a that's, female Royal Rumble. That, by the so way, that is Mike. You talk about you talk about miss opportunities in in tonight's Monday Night Raw. I tell you who is missing the most glaring missing member of D Generation X was Hornswoggle, mm-hmm. and I don't appreciate it. The son of I do Mrs. like Man. that China got a shout out. She yeah, did. that was good. That was China a good got it. China getting a shout out was amazing. That yes. was fantastic. Yes, it's the least they could do in that situation. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. No, it, 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 very happy with a lot that's happening there with Monday Night Raw. It, I, this is one I think I'm going to remember for a bit. Um, so we usually play the game, Bradley. I don't know if you've listened to the Raw wrap up per yeah. se, but we like to because it's such a slog with three plus hours usually from week to week. Mm-hmm. And we usually ask how much of Raw was watchable this evening. So okay. first, I'm going to go to you, Mad Mike. How much of <clears throat> Raw was watchable for you or your 25 year old uh, year old ago self? Uh, well, my 25 year old ago self would have said all three hours because he yes. was an idiot. Because um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because it was also you know it, I was younger. It, Raw's not for me, Sorg. If anything, we've proven Raw's not for me. No, 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 uh, no, no. Yeah, I'd say about an hour 40. Mm-hmm. I'd say about an hour 40. You got the Miz Roman match, hour which is 40. very good. Okay, uh, all the, right. The, the APA segments, um, the the people coming out, and the backstage with Coach. I, I, oh, and, oh, and AJ Styles getting interviewed by Mean Gene. Like, I felt bad for Mean Gene because he looked like he did not know what was going on. I, I always feel bad because I listen to story time and you can hear him getting old yeah. on that show. Like you can mm. tell like, like, I, I, I don't know. It just, it sounds weird to me. Right. Um, but it's fine. Like it's to the point where it sounds so cartoonish and I don't know if he has like, you know, he's changed because of his dentures or, or whatever, 
but it's just like oh, this is a guy that sounds like Mean Gene, right? You're then used he, to Mean Gene in the '80s being yeah, up, and yeah, up, and up, 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 of course, of course. Well, we all we're all gonna slow down where that 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 age. Yeah, yeah. So you know. And, you know, narrating cartoons is not the most exciting thing. I remember, like, Mean Gene on, like, WWE Confidential. That was, mm-hmm. that was some good times. <laughs> that was some good times. Or, or Mean Gene training of Hulk Hogan. Oh, yes. Oh, I, I, I got one of those most unusual matches tapes with him, tag teaming with him. I'm sure well, it's on the they, they faced uh, Fuji and uh, Animal. I believe so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, and, I, I like mid- I like that match because at one point Hulk would the plan was Hulk was going to stay in the ring and never tag Mean Gene and then Hulk got the upper hand and they're all excited and he accidentally high fives Mean Gene and Mean Gene has to get in the ring mm-hmm. and he gets chased around by Animal for a little bit until he tags Hogan back in. I remember that. That was some good uh, times. I think, I think Brandon also brought up in the chat room the interaction between Miz and Daniel Bryan was magic i i miss it because he came out uh, and i think i looked yeah. away what happened there oh it was so F- good it was a stare down they had a stare it, down it wasn't it wasn't just a stare down it was miz laughing derisively that's the 25th anniversary of raw and he's wrestling and brian isn't oh and when miz, okay. when miz, did, when miz did his little point instead of pointing out to the <clears> ring <throat> he pointed directly at daniel bryan oh geez oh it was so mm-hmm. it was delicious it was so good like if the rumor of Daniel Bryan being in the Rumble, just to throw up Miz, I'm okay with that. Yes, but anyways, um, I, I'm gonna go uh, two and a half hours. Wow, two and a half hours on this one. I had a lot of fun watching. Super it generous. I want to say I know I want to say, but also I was watching it with friends, so I think That's that fair. that yeah. often uh, sort of puts you I have on a question. Side. I have a question. What did you not like on Raw? Like, what what was what was the downer note for you? Was it the, uh, um, the Dudley stuff? No, no, no. It was um, the the ladies eight the eight ladies uh, okay. was a down. I I even uh, it, it was what what else? What else? What else? Uh, was it the Hardy and Wyatt match? Because yeah, after I realized nothing interesting was going to happen. Uh, yeah, that made me sad. Mm-hmm. No Rebby, no King Max. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with it. I agree with Bray Wyatt winning. I agree. Yes, but but yeah, I, I I was hoping the fact that they run they're having it in that smaller venue meant they could do something interesting there they exactly. could not do in an arena, right? Exactly. Did yeah. you did you want to be like WrestleMania for bugs to be running around the ring or something? No, like no, that? no, 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 no. I More... want a fucking drone. I want a drone. He wants a drone, just like drone. just like Impact Wrestling with the Hardys when they did that, when uh. they were when they were doing Broken Mat and everything. So, and it doesn't have to be a repeat of those things, but there has to at least be an attempt to be weird and not just Matt comes out and the stuff he used to wear when he was interesting. And God, I talk, I fucking talk like you now, Mike. <laughs> what have you done to me? Um, but but, but I, serious, I, Sorg. Sorg, I've made you fade away and classify yourself as obsolete. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's broken me. Uh, Bradley, how much of oh, raw? Broken, broken Sorg on tomorrow night's show. <laughs> Bradley! Bradley! Bradley the Heel! Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Ooh. laughs> Somebody's walking by the window and they're really worried right now. Um, anyways, uh, Bradley, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? I'm going to actually... I wanna, and you are used to watching the no commercial 90-minute cut down Hulu cut. That's true. That's true. Um, I'm going to say three. I'm gonna go three at least three Full of the three twenty. Full three hours because well, you whoa, were. Whoa, 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 whoa! This was three hours and twenty minutes tonight. Yes, which means for twenty minutes you're really worried about that rollover and the Chris Lee knows best. No, um, I the, the only part of the show I would say uh, was not needed was the tag match. After the everybody came out from DX. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I didn't. I was in the taking care of some business we, when that part happened. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> you missed the Dudleys, I, I think. M- too, I missed right? the I missed the Dudleys. I didn't know the Dudleys were coming out, but they had too much of the tag match. If they had like just a couple minutes of the tag match, and then all of a sudden Dudleys come out and did whatever they did, that's fine. But uh, the, the tag match, you know, why w- with all the things you could put attention to, why are you giving attention to Titus and uh, I can't even remember the other tag team because they're they're 
forgettable right now. Slater and Rhino. Slater and Rhino. Yeah. Why why give them time right now? Uh, they've been they've been doing a little bit with them and, and yeah and you know they, they have some they, they're a fun group for them to do what they did with APA tonight. So all right, well thank you so much, Bradley, for joining us. Where can people, um, I know people can check you out, uh, ringside at almost any Western and uh, Southwestern PA wrestling I, show. I, w- I would say about 75% of the events <laughs> when somebody's screaming out things, that's probably me. It's probably him. Me, me starting some chants of some sort. Yes, yes. And, I th- I th- and my favorite chant this weekend was when Team Storm came out for the IWC and I was chanting, where is Jack? I think that's my favorite chant from this past weekend. Awesome. And, of course, uh, on Twitter as well, right? Uh, Twitter is Heal Bradley and Bradley Ruthers on uh, Facebook. Awesome. And, of course, you can check out an appearance of somebody that looks quite like him on the SCD Christmas special on the Indie Mayhem show from a few weeks ago. What are you talking as about? As well. I don't I, – I, that's what – I mean, I'm just saying it's purely speculation. But I'm just yeah, saying – Sword doesn't remember anything from that show. Yeah, I don't know. There's not much I remember. We talked. I made. I did make the point that I leg wrestled the man that faced Vader. That's true. <laughs> That's an amazing statement. <laughs> <laughs> that goes on your LinkedIn profile. Um, <laughs> That's the header for your resume. <laughs> Yes, uh, Mad Mike is Mad Mike four eight eight three. He loves the live tweet things, and man, he has opinions. Oh, Sorg, you know I have my opinions, and also Mad Mike is going to be live in person this Saturday at NXT Takeover. If you see me in Philly, and you address me as Mad Mike, you are allowed one chop, one chop only. Man, I need to get to Philly. <laughs> it actually worked out because I actually I actually had to work that day, so it actually worked out that I did not book that trip. So, um, anyways, have fun, Mike, in Philadelphia. Make oh, sure I you bet. don't. Make sure you stay stay aside from those those crazy Eagles fans. I understand. Well, I'm, they're... I'm not. I'm not gonna wear my pens. Or I know. Or I know. I just just Yankees that, gear. That whole Sorry, town. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be repping. I'm gonna I be mean, repping friend of the show. Johnny Bananas, the wow. bees, knees, the whole shebang, the cat's pajamas, Johnny Gargano. Going That's for right. The NXT That's right. Title. If, you, if you want to check that out, you, uh, just search Wrestling Mayhem Show Johnny Gargano. We had him on twice, once, at least once. I thought it was more than twice. I thought we was more than twice. Did we really have Johnny on more I than twice? I thought we had more than twice. I, I, I know at least once on video. But uh, always great, dude. Um, Can I very quickly share my favorite? Johnny Gargano IWC story, very quickly. Sure, very quickly. This um, is a special edition. A match with Facade. There was a bunch of kids that were jeering Johnny Gargano because all kids love Facade. Mm-hmm. And, and was, yeah. Johnny Gar- I don't know if you were there or not. And Johnny Gargano just ch- ch- charged towards all the kids, and every single kid ran except one child that looked straight in Johnny Gargano's eyes. And Johnny Gargano looked down at that child and he gave him a hug. <laughs> and it was what it was. It was a wonderful. Everybody kind of like laughed and said, "Oh, I just thought it was nice." Oh, that's awesome. Uh, and of course, you can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We got a lot of stuff coming up this week. A special stream coming on at Sorgatron Media, our new political mayhem show. What if we explain in politics like pro wrestling with our friends BC Steel and Burt Legrand of pro wrestling announcing and managing fame uh, reverse, respectively. And of course, Wrestling Mayhem Show is live this week with comedian Matt Light. If you've ever seen the clip of the comedian giving a uh, stone cold stunner to the uh, Pittsburgh improv manager, that's the guy. He's going to be here in the studio. And hopefully he's not going to jump off our ladder or anything like that. Hide the ladder tomorrow, by the way. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. That's 9 p.m. Eastern time, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com or over on the Facebook feed for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Please subscribe to this show. Check us out on Facebook Live after Raw every Monday night with this crew or on the WMS Super Feed so you can get everything that we are doing and even some of those experiments too. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Until next time, please keep it raw.